Hey guys, if you've been sitting around for competitive programming or code forces tips, you'll probably have come across many videos telling you how to improve quickly or how to reach a certain rank in a certain time period. However, most of these videos just tell you to either solve more problems, learn from problems, or learn from editorials, or some combination of these. And I agree with this, this is one of the only methods to get such a high level in competitive programming. But let's be honest, who has time for grinding through all these many problems? Wouldn't it be nice to have some tricks up your sleeve to get you those fake internet points you really desire? Welcome to Nearly Illegal Tips to Improve Your Code Forces Rating, Video 1, Sample Cases. Picture this, you're in a code force contest and you've just finished reading the first question. After finished reading it, you think to yourself, I have absolutely no idea what is going on. I don't know what the solution is, I can't think of any way to start with this problem, and I'm going to give up. For example, check out this question. Find two integers x and y, such that 1 is less than or equal to x and y, and those are less than or equal to n, such that x to the power of y times y plus y to the power of x times x equals n. When I first saw this question in a contest, I had no idea what to do. It was such a weird question, and I had seen nothing like this before, so I first went to the sample cases. Here are the sample cases given the question. Do you recognize anything interesting about these samples? Yep, if you guessed that all the negative 1 outputs are from the odd inputs, you would be correct. We could either prove this using cases and parity in the original statement, or we could just guess that odd numbers don't work. Either way, we have some idea of what the answer will be. Next, we will use a trick that I'll cover in a future video. Try out the extreme cases. What if, for example, x was as small as possible, for example, 1? Then we can plug it in and get 1 to the power of y times y plus y to the power of 1 times 1 and that is equal to y plus y, which is equal to 2y. Brilliant! We have immediately gotten a construction for any even number we want. And, of course, we are now done. How quick was that? Here's another question you can do just by looking at the sample cases. You're given an integer k, and you have to find the largest integer x, where 1 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than k, such that x factorial plus x minus 1 factorial is a multiple of k, or determine that no x exists. When you first see this problem, you might not know what to do. So, just like before, let's check the samples. Do you recognize anything interesting about these samples? Yep, this one was probably much easier to notice. Realize that every output is just the input minus 1. We can now just guess the solution and code up a one-liner and get our free points, or we can try and convince ourselves why this is true. Either way, we realize that we can go from having no idea what to do in a problem to nearly solving it just by checking out the test cases. I hope this was a cool and informative video, and please stay tuned for the next video in this series. Thank you.